democracy is being strengthened in Pakistan. This is uh, action that could not have happened. Democracy could not have been recreated in Pakistan without your help, without the extended help of the democracies of the world. So as we go forward in the fight against terrorism and this mindset, the mindset, whether it is in Afghanistan, whether it is in Pakistan, or whether anywhere else in the world, it is the mindset that we are fighting, Afghan Taliban, Pakistan Taliban, or Al-Qaeda, wherever they are, we want to tell them, and we want to give a strong message from the world, with all you friends together, that we will not tolerate it. The civilized world will not tolerate it. We stand together, we have taken our losses, in the name of Shahid Mahatma Benazir Bhutto, who they assassinated, we intend to bring democracy, to bring Pakistani people peace, and be a, a responsible nation in the world, and stand and be counted against this war on terrorism. Thank you. The fight is one in which every country that is met today is engaged. It is a fight against Al-Qaeda, and those Taliban organizations that are seeking to disrupt the peace of the world. I want to acknowledge, as did all those people at our meeting today, the humanitarian impact that this conflict has had on the Pakistan people. And Britain and other countries will work with the Pakistan government to address these issues. I'm pleased to announce on behalf of the United Kingdom an additional 50 million pounds of British aid for Pakistan's border areas and that this program of money will go towards better infrastructure, better governance, and stronger rule of law in the border areas, helping to give Pakistan's people a bigger stake in the future. That's fine. The press will have before them the declaration of the meeting, which all the Friends of Democratic Pakistan unanimously signed up to agree. It welcomes the fact that the Pakistan government has developed an effective strategy in Malakand, and we believe that with our financial help and support, this can be broadened to include all of the border areas. Uh, we have agreed a comprehensive strategy for these troubled areas of Pakistan, supported by a multi-million dollar trust fund. And let us say that while President Zadari will rightly lead this effort, each of us in the international community will support him. President Zadari, today's meeting shows that Pakistan has many friends. Britain is proud to be prominent among them. You and the Pakistani people will continue to have our full and strong support, and you will have the continued support of the many nations from every continent of the world that are represented today in the Friends of a Democratic Pakistan. This was a short meeting, but an important meeting, a meeting at which there was unanimity. Uh, we want to support the democracy of Pakistan.